Uh, hi everybody, this is Scott from the old Curiosity Shop, and tonight, Monday night, the 12th, is Guess What Sold on eBay This Week? Now, I was only going to do these videos every two weeks, but I had a decent number of sales this week, for me, I think. I had about 15 sales, and so I decided, well, I'll just go ahead and do it every Monday night, keep it real. Hey, if I have a week with two sales, you'll see two things, and I'll just really talk about them. Um... So these, this is everything that sold from March the 5th in the evening, Monday the 5th, to today, Monday the 12th. Uh, and let me see. And I am still <laughs> trying to figure this whole thing out. So let me move myself. Woo! I think this gets me out of the way. Okay. And maybe I can see... I have a new, uh, these are not new lenses, but not, uh, what do you call it? Not bifocal, but where the lens is, um, it'll come to me in a minute. But anyway, that doesn't matter. Let me, let me show you what I sold this week. Here is a 1920s Jadeite Art Deco uh, table lamp or Torche lamp. Um, and I did not have this in a haul video. I just never did. This lamp I've had for quite some time, but decided that I no longer needed it. So I was ready to pass it on to someone else. Uh, it was made in the 1920s in, in Canada, oddly enough, by the Hydroelectric Power Company, who bought, I did some research, they bought a Canadian glass something, anyway. Here is the original sticker underneath the bottom of the lamp, you can see. Um, I did my research, I knew it was 1920s Art Deco, and, oops, let me turn that off, uh, and it sold for $89.99 plus $15 uh, in the shipping. It really looks pretty when it was lit up. Here it is lit up. Uh, that's not what I wanted to show you. <laughs> that's the bottom of it. There it is, uh, lit up with a tiny little light bulb in it. Um, and I really enjoyed that lamp, but I was happy to sell it and pass it on to someone else. Um, this is, yay, I sold my first set of Mikasa. You know, I bought all this Mikasa, a whole bunch of it, mm, three weeks ago. And... Um, so here are four of the little cereal bowls. No, these are the little berry bowls. And these sold for $24.99. I still have a lot of this Mikasa left. Uh, this Blue Point Mikasa from the 1960s. But I was thrilled that the first grouping of it actually sold. Next we have a, remember I told you, buy lids when you see lids. And I'm sorry that this is flopping all over the place. Hazel Atlas Colonial Block Butter Dish Lid from the 1930s sold for $7, no, $15 plus the shipping. I, I almost always charge shipping. Um, and this lid was in excellent shape. And hopefully it has arrived and it is on top of a butter dish, happy as it can be once again. I had all of these things set where I wouldn't have to keep doing this. Here is another one of these little cake plate dudes from the 1930s. Uh, Jeanette Company Sunflower Pattern. Uh, this one sold for 20 bucks. And I still have three or four of these not, uh, in different colors and different styles in the old Curiosity Shop. This is a fake Nantucket. Now, I knew this was not a Nantucket. Uh, basket because uh, I know my Nantucket baskets. I have a lot of uh, my dad's mother's family is an old Connecticut family and so been in New England for since the 1630s. So I know a lot about New England and, and nautical stuff in Nant Nantucket baskets. This isn't, it's a fake, but look how it's very, very well made. It's a wine caddy. And I picked this one up for $1. See, that would have been uh, not scrimshaw, but shell. I don't know why I'm pointing because you can't see what I'm trying to point at. But 
Uh, anyway, sold for fourteen ninety nine. So I bought one at a Goodwill for a dollar, sold it on this week, and then a couple of days later, I found a second one in a different shop for two dollars, and that one sold today. So both of my little fake faux uh, Nantucket baskets, wine caddies, have both sold. So listen, the thing about this is I never would look at sort of the wicker section or the basket section in the Goodwill. I do now because I have found two of these in two different Goodwills in the basket section. And, you know, um, I'm selling them for 15 bucks each and I've sold two of them in, <coughs> excuse me, in one week. So I was happy to do that. This frog, let me tell you, bless his heart. Not the heart of the frog, but the man I sold it to. We went back and forth, and he asked me so many questions about this frog. I almost just gave up and said, dude, you can have the frog. Um, I sold the Made in Japan frog. There's his bottom. This is Made in Japan. Uh, I sold the frog to this very nice person, um, Made in Japan. There you can see the person wasn't Made in Japan. The frog was. But he asked me so, I've never had so many questions for just, you know, a little cheap frog planter. But the dimensions of everything, the, the, anyway, frog is gone. An Art Deco stapler from the 1940s in working condition. Uh, I just sold and the person was like, how do I get staples for it? And I'm like, they're universal. You can still get staples for these. I just love the design of it and how even during the machine, it, the, the, uh, the industrial, you know, 30s, 40s, 50s, things still had cool design. And this one works perfectly well. What did that sell for? 20 bucks. Yes, it did. These I almost threw away. But then I realized they're Bakelite. Do you know how you know? You have to take a piece of Bakelite, or, or if, if it looks like plastic, take it and rub it really, like take your thumb and rub, 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 really hard and really fast and get it, get it warmed up, get it hot, and then smell it. If it smells like sort of burnt petroleum, you know, old oil, gasoline, I don't know how else to describe it, that's Bakelite. There are other ways you can test it, but once you smell Bakelite, you know, you, you will always know. So these are two Art Deco Bakelite handles that came off of something that was in really bad shape. But I saved the handles, and they are on their way to California for 10 bucks. These are the two dresser lamps that I put in one of my previous thrift haul videos that I cleaned up, rewired. Um... And they are on their way to New York City. They sold for 30 bucks. Yeah, I could have gotten more for them. I probably should have held out and priced them a little bit higher because they really have an awesome, you know, clean, classic deco 1940s look. But hey, didn't pay much for them, and there they go. Yay, I sold my first um, souvenir. Now, if you watch me you, or follow me, you know, I'm doing this experiment with anniversary plates and like souvenir items. I bought 10 anniversary things and I bought 10 souvenir things and I stopped because I want to see if they sell. Uh, this was Contemplate. All right, big deal. It sold for nine bucks, but it was very cheap. And um, the person, it's on its way to Virginia. So probably someone who was born and raised in Wisconsin now lives in Virginia is going to hang this over their kitchen sink and just be thrilled spitless. A just a uh, shirt for 16 bucks. You don't want to see that. Ah, my 1960s Corningware blue cornflour broiler bake tray with its original carrier sold for $19.80. And that's... Uh, it was in really great shape, and that's one of the very few pieces of corningware that I've ever actually bought to sell. I just got these last weekend, and yeah, I sold these too cheaply. Fifteen bucks for three of them. They went just like that, but it's fine. Um, I paid very little for them. They're in my thrift haul video if you want to go back and see that. 
I still have some other pink crin crinoline hazel atlas, but these three uh, dessert, no, these cereal bowls sold for 15 bucks. For 20, this was 29.99 and I took a best offer of 25. I knew that this would sell because of the great mid-century graphics on the front. They're imitating an Alexander Calder mobile in Christmas candy. Those are little Christmas candies. That was a Christmas candy tin uh, made here uh, in Philly by a company that sells Christmas candy here in Philly, Plantation Jingle Bits. And um, really just, I knew, that would, I knew that would sell. This thing, when I bought it, I didn't know what it was. And I didn't realize that it's not old, probably from the 80s. But it is a piece, as you can see in the description of Belique, uh, well, I don't know if it's pottery or porcelain, but it's made in Ireland. It's really pretty, uh, and that's kind of why I bought it. It just was beautiful. It has the thistle and the shamrock. And I sold it to someone uh, who has an Irish last name, and I'm thinking maybe they bought it. St. Patrick's Day is when? Next week? I don't know. I'm not Irish, so I don't, I don't know when St. Patrick's Day is, but it's in March sometime. Um, and this sold for $14.99. And there's my second Nantucket basket, which I sold this morning for, again, $14.99. So that was my week from the 5th to the 12th. That's what sold on eBay. So this is Scott in the old curiosity shop, and somebody wants to be a movie star. Hello, you want to be a movie star? <laughs> Actually, he just woke up, so. Uh, thanks for watching, and um, stay tuned because I got some great stuff Sunday afternoon, and I got some great stuff uh, today at 5 o'clock when I went to a thrift shop. Um, and so I'm going to do a thrift, thrift haul video and show you that stuff as well. So again, this is Scott from the old Curiosity Shop saying so long for now.